we're here in Oak Park and um, we're after putting in a, uh, a seed mixture here to get some wildflowers and a wild, wild seed uh, mixture in here. So the major thing I suppose about anything that you bring onto your farm, you really need to go and have a look to make sure that all you're after bringing onto your farm is what you thought you were bringing onto your farm. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to bring in any invasive species that's going to cause a problem on your farm. So luckily, um, the farm manager here spent a little bit of time in this mixture to make sure that he has exactly what he's ordered rather than anything else here. However, there is a bit of a problem. So there's a couple of things in it. You need to know what to look for in terms of the species or the plants that you don't want on your farm. And you also need to know how to identify them. So in this particular uh, instance, we were looking in a big way for black grass and it didn't take our farm manager too long to find black grass. So if we come up along here, we can actually see black grass is a hugely invasive species. And um, this particular one's a very small one in the coulter lines here. And um, it came from this farm mix because there is no black grass here in Oak Park whatsoever. Um, it's now in full anthesis, so it's starting to, um, it's flowering, it hasn't set seed as yet. Um, but if we look all the way down through it, we can see there's lots more here, loads of seeds here. If this particular plant gets to set seed, up to 2,000 seeds will come back onto this ground and probably spread back out into the crop kind of close to that again. As we go through, it's not overly difficult to see more black grass and it is one of the most difficult things to, um, one of the most difficult things to, uh, to control on a farm and you certainly do not want that uh, on your farm um, and proliferating its seeds. The best way to do that, and certainly on this farm, is to have a look at um, taking that out as early as you can. So at the moment, there is no seed in those plants and um, what we don't want to do is let that seed set so it becomes viable at all. So in this scenario we're going to take this out immediately, we're going to burn it off afterwards. Unfortunately we have to destroy the whole thing but we're taking no chances on this. Um, then we're going to come back and do a couple of stale seed beds to make sure that any other residual, um, any other residual seeds that might be in the ground are going to be gone. So that's the process, uh, eliminate it as quick as ever that we can. As you can see, there's another one along here and there's another one uh, a, little bit, a little bit further up again. So there's plenty, plenty of it here, probably around uh, one per every three to four meters squared. So it is a, a, a huge problem that we're going to sort out at its source and we're going to um, bring that back to um, just a normal cultivation uh, and maybe try and source some, some better seed elsewhere.